world building in fantasy is really important, but in major ways it's not all that different from world building in real life. People who write historical novels have to do exactly the same thing. They're presenting a world that the reader is not familiar with. When I'm writing a book, I go there. And people say that my writing is very visual. And I think that's because in my mind's eye, I actually go to the place. And I semi-close my eyes and I simply describe what I'm seeing. I will start with a room or a street and describe what I'm seeing. And as I'm describing it, I have to invent it. You have to make it plausible. And that's the crux of good science fiction, is it's in the details. A fantasy in particular doesn't have to be consistent with reality, because it isn't real, it's got magic. But there has to be an internal consistency about what happens and how it happens and why it happens. It's one of the more powerful tools that a fantasy writer has. When I was a little kid back in the 1950s, I made fantasy realms out of paper dolls. And it was exactly that experience of falling into that realm. When I was in that realm, I was there. I was my characters. If I am writing about New Orleans, I am there in the room with those people. I can hear their voices. I'm on the street. You know, I'm there at the corner of Bourbon and Ursuline watching this stuff taking place. It's a very vivid experience for me. It's world building. It's going to a different universe.